Hey friends, this is Reverend Jerry, the People's Priest, a.k.a. Father Jerry. And today I am coming to you with your Monday Musings. So one of the important parts of my life story is I was born with a genetic birth defect that I actually inherited from my mother, who was one of the first people to be diagnosed with it in the United States. My older brother also has it, and my oldest uh, nephew also has it as well. And uh, it is called Cruzon syndrome, and it's a uh, facial disorder that requires extensive amounts of surgeries. In fact, if you look at photos of me when I was a child and how I look now, it's completely different. And um, it is not a um, condition I would have wished on anybody because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of hassle and there are, you know, are other conditions that can be developed um, that are byproducts of it as well. But one of the interesting things about it that I think is very telling on how my life has developed is when many people have experiences in life that are very intense, whether it's um, being born with certain medical problems or getting into an accident or losing somebody that they love deeply, um, whatever it might be, really tragic experiences. People tend to ask the question of why me? And I don't know if it was because of the way I was raised or if it's um, a, a spirituality thing or or maybe I'm just stubborn and I just never thought about asking that question. But I always ask the question of, okay, so I have all these problems and I have to do these surgeries and go to these doctor's appointments. Now what? I always wondered, okay, well, what, what's happening next? Okay, like what's el- what else is on the schedule? <laughs> and um, I, don't, I don't, don't really know or I can't really pinpoint to you why... That was the attitude I took about it, but that's the attitude I had. And as I've gotten older and reflected more on that experience and the ongoing ramifications of it, um, including helping my nephew go through some of the operations that I went through as well, I have really affirmed that I think all of us are given a certain amount of cards in life. And... While many of us would like to get rid of some of those cards and exchange them from another hand, we really have to learn very deeply how to play well the cards that we have been dealt in life. And I think one of the questions that we can help to learn to ask ourselves daily uh, that will help us learn to play those cards well is now what? Whenever a tragedy happens, whenever a conflict happens, ask yourself, now what? What is next? Because then that flips the the script and makes you think of yourself less as a victim and more as a person who has the empowerment and the abilities to address the problem that is in front of you and to do it in a healthy, holy, and wholesome way. So this week, I encourage you to ask that question, now what? When something happens in life, now what? And maybe you'll start to realize that you are a lot more powerful than you give yourself credit for, and you'll be able to go forth into the world a little bit more hopeful and optimistic. So dear friends, remember that this week and every week life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who journey with us. So let us be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and dare to ask the question of now what? Monday Musings is a weekly reflection series brought to you by Rev. Jerry Maynard, the People's Priest, and produced by CNG Communications. For a small donation of $25 per month, you can be listed as a podcast sponsor. For more information, please visit revjerrymaynard.org and click on the People's Priest podcast under the Media tab.